The Fry Foundation Minor Verification Portal is now live and what I'm going to do today is to take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can verify your minor. Now it's important to mention that this does not only apply to those who basically want to verify their minor, this applies to everyone who has a Fry Foundation minor. You need to re-register your minor on the new portal. Now the team has provided a very very detailed guide on everything that you're going to need to do the registration but I'm going to walk you through the process. However, like I said, everything that we're going to do is quite well detailed out here. Now there are two things that you have to take note of. If you did purchase your minor directly from the Fry Foundation website, the team mentioned that you should have received an email on or after July 15, 2024 with a new minor key that you're going to use to register on the verification portal or on the new portal. If you did however use a BYOD or basically a bring your own device license, you received a license key and what you're going to do is that you're going to convert this old license key to a new license key and when with a new license key you can proceed with a registration if you haven't received your minor key if you have any difficulty in the registration the team is open to help out whatever question that you would have now the first thing that you're going to have to do is to come to this website here registration.frynetworks.com here very very important a lot of people are trying to scam people out there so please make sure that you verify the link that you're going to click to do the registration so i'm going to click on this website and we're going to continue with the registration process so this is how the portal looks on this side you have my registrations and this would be basically minus that you have registered under your account or basically under your wallet and in this section is a new registration where you're going to perform a new minor registration the first thing that you're going to have to do is to connect your para wallet or whatever wallet that you have in my case i'm using para so just click on connect and then you basically can scan the qr code that will be generated for you and then connect your wallet to the portal i'm going to just connect my wallet and we're going to continue to the next stage so now you see that i'm successfully connected to the dashboard with my wallet when i come under my registrations and i click sign in with the wallet and i confirm the transaction on my wallet and i come to the my registration section you basically see the list of miners that i have registered so i tested this out initially using my pebble byod miner and that's what you see here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you through how you can basically register your miner if you purchased your miner directly on the fry website all you have to do is to just come to new registration and then put in the new miner key that it provided to you in the email address and then basically you can start a registration now in this example what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can do it if you are using the byod license the process is technically the same the only additional step if you have a byod license is that you're going to have to convert but your old BYOD license minor key to a new license key. So to do so, I'm just going to come here and click on convert a BYOD license. And then here, I'm going to put my old BYOD license. And then very important, this section here, you're going to select the kind of minor that you bought that BYOD license for. So in my case, I'm testing this out with the bandwidth minor that I have a BYOD for. So I selected that option and just click on convert. And after that, you're going to get a confirmation that the BYOD license has been successfully converted. Now, this is very, very important. The new minor key that is going to be generated for you, please store this minor key in a very safe location because if you lose the minor key, you're basically going to have to probably buy a new BYOD license. So I'm going to copy the minor key and I'm going to store it in a secured location. Now, after you have copied the key, just close the button here. And then now we're going to begin with a new registration. And then here you can see that I'm already under new registration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this option here where it states creates a new registration. And I'm going to paste in the new BYOD license that was generated for me. And then I'm just going to click on start registration. And then here all you're going to have to do is to fill in your details. So your first name, your last name and your email address. So I'm going to fill in that option. I'm going to click on submit and then we can go to the next step. And after that, you see a confirmation successfully registered. Now what we're going to do here is to just close this money here and then I'm going to go back to my registrations and then now you see that I do have two registrations. So this was the initial one that I did that was for my indoor high end air quality miner and the one that we just did is the fry bandwidth miner. Now here the next steps are very very important. After you register the miner for the first time you're going to have to update your wallet. So if you do see here reward wallets none, it basically means that you haven't appended any wallet address to that particular miner. And here we are talking about the wallet where your rewards are going to go to. So to update the wallet address, all you're going to have to do is to just click on update reward wallets. And then here you're going to paste in your wallet address and just click on update. 
and after that you see that now i have my reward wallet here which means that i have basically added my wallet to that particular miner now the next steps are the following if you do not want to verify your miner technically you are done from this point however if you do want to verify your miner to receive these rewards multiplier then you're going to have to do the next steps now the first thing that you're going to have to do is to assert a location of your miner now to do so just come here and click change location and then in my case you see that it says geolocation is disabled this is because I haven't enabled location on my browser so typically to fix this you're gonna go into your browser settings and you're gonna allow the website to be able to assess your location i'm going to show you shortly how you can do so using google chrome as an example just come to the settings option here or the three dots here and then come to settings now under settings come to privacy and security and then down here you see that we do have site settings now when you scroll down here you see that i do have location so when you click on this option here you can click this option here the sites can assess your location and then basically the sites should be able to assess your location unfortunately in my case it didn't work i tried so many times but i couldn't get the browser to be able to fetch my location i do have a lot of firewalls and stuff on my pc probably it's one of these applications that is basically restricting this so i had to continue the process on my phone and i'm going to take you through exactly how you're going to do so as well if you find a fix on how this could work please put this in the comment section i'll be happy to learn this as well so on the phone is the same thing i'm just going to come to the same website that i was on the pc i'm going to click connect using my para wallet i'm going to launch para wallet i'm going to select my wallet type and i'm going to come here and switch back to chrome then here you see that my wallet is technically connected now here i'm going to come back to the menu section here and i'm going to go to my registrations and then you see that it asked me to first sign in with my wallet so i'm just going to click on sign in with wallet i'm going to choose para wallet again and i'm going to confirm the transaction and i'm going to switch back to chrome Chrome. then now it's somehow connected again i'm going to come back to the menu and i'm going to come to my registration and then you see a pop-up that it wants the site wants to use my location so i'm just going to click on allow and then here very important before you do this make sure that you turn your location on basically on your android phone or whatever phone that you're using so when i scroll down here I'm going to come to change location this time around and then I mean it's bled out of your for obvious reasons but the location that I'm seeing here is very correct so I'm just going to click on submit and then now you see that the position option here I see the coordinates of my location which means that it worked out now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the verification so do the verification in order to be able to get my miner verified and receive the verification multiplier just come to this option here and click verify or stake and then here you see that there are two options you can either lock for 24 hours or you can lock for six months so what do you see that if you lock for 24 hours you're basically going to pay 12,500 fry which is going to be locked for 24 hours and then when you go for the six months option you basically see the amount that you're going to use so in this example I'm going to go with a 24 hour lock. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to have to confirm the transaction on my para wallets so here i see 12,500 fry is going to be locked i'm going to confirm the transaction and i'm going to switch back to chrome and then basically that's it you see that i got an notification that a miner is verified so basically that's how easy it is to do the verification if you do have any questions you can put this in the comment section or you can also come to the fry discord channel i will be very, very happy to help you out thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one